Hello, um, I'm Funda Merrick Bernstein. Uh, I am the chair of Investigation Cancer Therapeutics at MD Anderson and the medical director of the Institute of Personalized Cancer Therapy. And today, it is my honor uh, to co-chair uh, the Clinical Carcinoma Foundation meeting uh, with uh, John Bridgewater. This has been such a great opportunity to really think about cholangio carcinoma and uh, the advances that have occurred over the last year and really uh, try to figure out how we can share our passion with uh, the opportunities to make an impact uh, while really bringing together the close-knit community of patients, caretakers, and advocates. This is by far my favorite meeting every year because the warmth in the room when we're together is really palpable. And of course, it is heartbreaking uh, that it is um, not face to face this year due to COVID. Uh, but you know, on a positive note, I think the fact that we're online has given us given us an opportunity to have greater reach. As of yesterday in the afternoon, we had one thousand five hundred and forty six registrants to the meeting. We had registrants from fifty states, from fifty one countries. So. That's really incredible. Um, I want to talk a little bit about how we put together the program and some of the nuances so you, you can uh, you know, feel the excitement that we have. Um, you know, one of the things that we really wanted to sort of highlight uh, was um, what are the advances happening and uh, you know, making sure that we're uh, making all of the science accessible and bringing together the oncology and scientific community, but also really taking the patient perspective, the caretaker perspective uh, into mind. Um, so um, we uh, were um, uh, you know, designing the program also to really highlight that cholangiocarcinoma is a difficult to treat disease even difficult to diagnose, but also requires truly a team science approach. Um, so you will see today, uh, we're going to talk about multiple things that require really integrated thinking and, uh, you know, expert opinion. Um, uh, and uh, we were uh, going to go ahead and, um, you know, highlight some of the major advances, like this year was the first year when we um, have had a genomically informed therapy, FDA approved. So we wanted to capitalize on that by highlighting precision medicine. So the first scientific session is gonna talk about other genomic targets, including SGFR as well. And uh, all of this uh, it really putting into perspective, um, you know, what can you expect when you get genomic testing? What are the potential therapeutic opportunities? And what are the genomic alterations we know exist we simply haven't been able to tackle. Our sessions today are going to include you know, uh, the difficult management options for local regional disease, where we will have different disciplines and the radiologist and the uh, oncologist and the, you know, the perspective of, of when we have more than one option to treat. How do we make those decisions and how do you weigh those different decisions? Uh, again, all of these with uh, incorporated panel discussions so that we can see all perspectives. And finally, this year, we will have a, a short abstract presentation with an award session, uh, which will start later today. Uh, so I'm looking forward to you all joining. So again, I'm so excited to uh, share our program with you. And uh, I'm going to now pass the baton on to Stacy for her welcome.